Gav back in the team on the score sheet, but it wasn't to be tonight. No, it wasn't. I think we gave a good account of ourselves. I think first half especially, we was really good. Um, after a sloppy 10 minutes, we grew into the game and um, we had a few chances and we should have probably gone into the break, um, leading a couple, like two goals to nil. Second half, we, we was riding the wave a bit. We knew what they would come out to be, um, come out to be in the second half, and I thought we dealt with that well. But then you just see a goal like the one we conceded, it's just it's just a fluke goal sort of thing, and then that gets, brings the crowd up. I thought we done well enough to hold on for the draw. We even had a couple of chances late on in that, but the crowds up, and then the second goal just kills us, and um, yeah, it's disappointing. Their equaliser, you allude to it. Is that just how it is away from home for Wigan at the moment? They get a chance yeah. like that. It's not even a chance, is it? No, it's not a chance. He obviously, he scuffed the cross really, and the boy looks like he's just trying to help it on. I mean, he's got obviously good contact on it, and he goes in over Jamie. It's just, it's unlucky for everyone, and it's things like that. You just think like, Ooh, what chance you got, sort of thing. But even like, we still had created a couple chances late on as well. But today just wasn't our day, no. Did a brilliant job first half of quietening the home crowd. They were a bit <coughs> nervy. You got the goal, and mm -hmm. that came at a real important time. Yeah, we had a game plan. Um, Gaffer spoke on it, and um, obviously the goal didn't happen on the game plan. But it was a good counter attack, and Crackers obviously done really well. Um, everything that we worked on, we nailed down to a T really. And um, like I said, it's just really unlucky. Is that the frustrating thing you can see? You've executed that game plan, but you just don't take anything home with you. Yeah, it's, um, it is frustrating, but the stage of the season, the games come thick and fast. We can't even we can't even dwell on it. We've got to pick pick ourselves up. That's what we said in the changing rooms. Now, pick ourselves up. We've got a big game Saturday and a big game on Tuesday, and um, we take every game as it comes, and it's, we just got to move on. That is, there's that sick feeling this evening, but I suppose if there's a positive, it's the fact that another game comes so soon after. Yeah, definitely, and I think of late we've been playing really well, and today I think we've done, we played well as well. So, um, yeah, games come thick and fast. We got a big one on Saturday. It's just, we, like I said, we can't dwell on it, and obviously we go down to Reading looking to get three points. Obviously, a long trip down to uh, down to Reading. The fans stuck with you. You've got the Blackburn game afterwards. Three mm -hmm. away games coming up, but important the fans stick with you guys. Yeah, definitely, and they have done all season. Um, we we know what we want to achieve this season, and um, so far we're doing that. And hopefully, we can put in a big performance with the with the fans coming down on Saturday. If we get the win there, then um, that takes us on to Tuesday, even and that's an even bigger game.